Hey guys, this is Jamie Rodriguez, the host of J-Rod Concerts, the podcast, and we are here at Radioactive Records in Fort Lauderdale, celebrating one of South Florida's rising talents, Julia Bat. Let's give it up for Julia Bat, everybody. Before we get started, a big thank you to everybody at Radioactive Records, one of the most important and iconic record stores in South Florida. Established in 1995, this is your one-stop shop for everything that is about music, for music lovers. So if you're in the area, come check it out. They're on Instagram at Radioactive Records. Now, Julia, congratulations on the release of your new EP, Two Steps Back. Thank you very much. Absolutely. How does it feel uh, to have your baby out into the world? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really supposed to. I mean, I love it. I'm really happy to have it out into the world. I wouldn't necessarily say it's my child or my baby because it is definitely, it's three songs that have already been released. And right. it's one new song, which I feel kind of guilty about branding that as like a whole new thing. But I mean, I do think it works for its cohesiveness and stuff. And I think that it's, I like having the, the whole, like the whole work together. So in that sense, I'm very happy to have it out. Okay. But, um, I'm more, I'm honestly, I'm really excited to get new stuff out. Great. Um, and we can't wait. What are you going to play for us first? Um, well, just a heads up. I am a little sick. I don't have COVID. I want to say that to everyone. I got a negative test. I just got a cold and my throat sounds bad. So I, I can't guarantee you you're going to go super smooth, but we're going to try. Um, so I'm going to do my newest song, I guess. I'm going to do Vampire Stuff. Great. Rising star Julia Bat releasing, uh, celebrating the release of her new EP, Two Steps Back. And um, look at that guitar, full of personality. So great, so great. Julia, uh, tell us a little bit about the next song you're gonna play. And uh, I know you have a really cool creative like writing process, like just uh, the way your ideas come into your head. Tell us a little bit about it and how it came about. Um, I don't know, it, I, I mean, it kind of changes. I'm trying to work on it, to be quite honest with you, because I, I used to really only be able to write songs if they like came out in that moment and if it didn't come out within 15, 20 minutes and I didn't like it because I was overthinking it. Like for example, this song that I just played came out in like 15 minutes after someone dared me to write a song about vampires. And I was like, bet dude, I got to. So I did and I don't know, I feel I felt like that was the only way that would work. So a lot of my songs are just kind of like really quick, but right now I'm trying to work on like maybe trying to space things out, give more thought to the lyrics, see if I can do anything better, you know, try to add on, I don't know, you know, 
kind of evolve a little bit. So, I don't know. The life of the artist. That's great. Yeah. Cool. What are you going to play now? Um, I guess I'll play another one of mine instead of a cover. I want to play a cover at one point, but I'm just debating when. Um, but I'll do, I'll do Miami. Cool? Okay. Thank you very much. No matter how much I practice, I will always fuck up my own songs. Always. <sighs> Julia, tell, tell us a little bit. Julia, Bad Life in Fort Lauderdale, by the way. Tell us a little bit about the relationship you have with your fans. It's very special. Uh, on social media, you have fans from all over the world in different languages. They make you requests. They send you artwork. And you're always connecting with them. So just share with us a little bit about that bond. I mean, yeah, I'm not really a big social media person, never really have been, but like once I started kind of, you know, posting videos, which I never would have, I don't know, I, I used to not even think I could sing. I know I've talked about that before, but like I started posting videos and then somehow, you know, now I have like 35,000 people who like, you know, watch that and that's awesome. But, and it, people from all over the place. So now it's kind of like, how can you hate something that's like, you know, all these people are being like, yo, like someone told me that recently that uh, uh, their cousin just died and it was almost like his brother and like that somehow my music was helping him. And I was like, that's that's awesome because I know how like I know how much that can mean as someone who's listened to music and gone through shit and used music to get through it. Like, that's awesome. So now that I have like people telling me that it kind of gives me more inspiration to go and it gives me I don't know. I don't know. It just it, 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 it's, it's inspiring, I guess. Absolutely. Well, that's great. Let's hear some more music. Um, I'm gonna do a cover. <laughs> See if I don't fuck it up. Um, do I want it? Okay. I'm 
mean to click, but I want out. It's not the same as when I was punching the old days. It was enough. The card game in me is with a bit of stuff that fly. I was in, but I want out. My mother's love is so deep in me. I'm sick of words laying above my head. What about the kid? This time the kid got free. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Thanks for that, Julie. I think you have one more song uh, you're going to perform. But uh, before you perform it, let me ask you really quickly about um, someone that's worked with you in this record, uh, Elliot Jacobson. He's a producer, tutelage. He's worked with El King, Ingrid Michelson, very talented guy. Uh, tell us a little bit about the collaboration with someone like Elliot for your EP and your music. I mean, he's everything that you pretty much hear is all like, He's touched it. He's the more, he's like, uh, sorry, that was almost weird. I'm sorry. Hot damn. It, he's, he's very much influenced whatever you hear, um, which I, I really like because I've never really liked working alone. You know, like I'm happy to, I like ideas and stuff, but I also like people contributing to it and people being like, oh, but what if we change it to that? And oh, blah, 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 and making things better. Um, and Elliot does exactly that in topics that I can't even like comprehend. So since he's a drummer, he is like he tours with El King and all those people. He literally drums um, as like his profession, not only producing, which he's very good at. He he can hear like a, a rough draft that I send him of like some chords and, and like some lyrics. And he'll have like an idea for like a structure for the song. And then I'll hear that. And I'll be like, oh, shit. Now we can do this and this and this. And it just transforms it. And that's I it, it's. You know, I couldn't ask for anything more. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, we're lucky to have you in South Florida representing us. Your new EP, Two Steps uh, Out, is out now. Uh, Two Steps Back is out now. And uh, take it away with your last song. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's called Marco. So, yeah. Try to monopolize all of your time. I'm saying there are times when I can get impatient, but I think that I could help. 
help you to prioritize. I don't want to play alone and cry about the moon. I'm not sure I know this song. I'm not sure I want to. I fuck with the people who tolerate me, so they got you drop me. I swear that they'll sing. Everybody needs you, everybody needs you, everybody needs you. What about me? Everybody needs you, everybody needs you, everybody needs you. What about me? Oh, what about me? What, sorry, about what about me?